Frank C. Peace, Amelia. Welcome back. It's your man, Frank C. Just want to jump into this quick uh, top 10 for fall 2019. It was kind of late in the season, but uh, that's typically how I do. I like to wear my, my fragrances before I start making recommendations. So let's just jump right into it. Number 10, it'll be Dunhill Elite. Dunhill Icon Elite. Uh, the black, this is the black bottle. I got this little one ounce syrup, had it for like the last two years, lasts me a lot, and I got a lot of fragrances, so it's lasts me a long time. This to me is like a more natural uh, version of my Block Legend. I've talked about this previously. Great fall scent, uh, you know, you see it out there, sometimes it's at, it's at the discounters. You see it out there, definitely worth the cop. That's uh, Dunhill Icon Elite. Number nine for the House of Azaro. This is Azaro Wanted. This is regular as Azaro Wanted. Uh, Azaro Wanted Night to me smells like in the whole realm of those, the one, the scent type fragrances. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> but really kind of run the mill. I have, um, I, I, I don't actually, I don't have that one. I have uh, the Mont Blanc, the Mont Blanc Legend Night, which is a lot like that one, but I don't have that one. This is a regular Azaro Wanted. This is a nice, uh, warm, citrusy, spicy scent for the fall, holds up great. That's all I wanted, regular. That's all I wanted, at the number nine spot. This one I've talked about before, the number eight spot, this is a Sato Visit, another Sato sent back to back. Um, I'm running low as you can see on this, uh, but I do have a backup bottle, which I'm gonna start you know, using once this runs out. But this is a great, I mean, it's a great all weather scent, but definitely in the fall, it just performs very well. Um, it is a, um, you can say it's very similar to uh, Gucci Rush, the old Gucci Rush, early 2000s. This came out in 2003. Great cheapy, readily, readily available on your online discounters. Sato Visit at the number eight spot. Number seven for the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Salvatore Ferragamo Poron. And, um, you know, this is just, you know, I've had this for a while and I really haven't worn it a lot, but, um, you know, I was looking at some recent reviews. I believe his name, his name is TLTG. Um, he, I think he had this on one of his lists. I was, you know, he's somebody who's been checking out lately as far as reviewers. And I've had this on my shelf left in dust for a while. I said, let me revisit it. So I've been wearing this for the last uh, couple of weeks. And it's great. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice, spicy fig. It's a bit, fig. The note of fig is very prominent in this one. Um, nice fig. Today is actually my scent of the day today, actually. Salvatore Ferragamo put on fig, cedar, uh, nice spicy, kind of a medicinal fig, which I like. And it holds up great, great in the fall weather. Uh, solid, uh, eight hours. It, it's, it's, it's a low projector, projection's low. Um, but, you know, it's a nice nice little scent bubble. Uh, lasts, you know, a work, a work day. So that's at the number seven spot. Salvatore Ferragamo put on. At the number six spot, from the house of Paco Rabanne, this is Paco Rabanne One Million Privé. Great, great, great uh, version of uh, you know of One Million. This is actually my favorite version of One Million. Um, now it would be higher on the list, but I got some other other hitters that I'm going to pull out here here in a second. But this is always my go-to for fall. Nice, you know, um, ambery. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a it's a lot in the same you know in the same realm of the one and, and things of that sort. Uh, let me just take a little spray. You know, I haven't uh, worn it a lot. Okay, he has that cinnamon, is that big that big apple pie vibe uh, that you get in one million privé. Uh, my favorite from the line: baked apple pie, cinnamon. You know, nice little tobacco in there. Great version for the fall of one million and it's in it last all day good projector one million pre bay all right so 10 9 8 7 6 number five spot this has been recently discontinued this is a versace put on not versace or fresh this is put on this is the this is the uh og this came out before old fresh i think old fresh came out 2011 this came out like 2003 2004 something like that versace man uh tobacco -y. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. This is a man's scent in, in the purple bottle, purple in the, with the gold uh, accents. Definitely manly. Very cool bottle. Uh, Versace man, you just can't beat it for fall. You know, uh, nice spicy tobacco uh, with some depth depth to it. So definitely a great pickup. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 at the number 5 spot, Versace Man. Number 4, this is a, a scent that I've also been kind of sitting on my shelf for a while. Uh, great, awesome, cheapy. This is Brooks Brothers, New York Gentleman. Um, you know, I got some really, I actually wore this yesterday uh, through the office and, uh, you know, um, one of the ladies in the office was just falling all over the place asking, like, what is it, what is that? She thought it was a new, new fragrance. Uh, this is just Brooks Brothers, New York. Um, nice, awesome, cheapy. I think I got this at the outlet maybe like two or three years ago. I think I paid like maybe like 25 bucks for it. Um, but I've seen it pop up in Marshall, TJ Maxx for like 20, for like 19.99 and stuff like that. 3.4 ounce bottle. I mean, this is this, this is awesomeness. Uh, you know, citrus, clean, spicy. It's a lot like, um, which I don't have. Um, no, actually, yeah, I do have that one. Um, ADP Ascenza. Uh, I'm thinking of the uh, Colonia Intense, I don't have that one, but this is a lot like ADP Ascensa in the, in the black bottle, um, but it lasts longer. It's, it's, a, it's a lot, uh, the longevity is there, the projection is there. Um, you know, I, I'm usually heavy spray, eight to, 10 cent, eight to 10 sprays. This lasts you all day. And like I said, it's in the same vein as your ADP Ascensa. Uh, one that I do need to get is uh, Dior, uh, the Dior Sauvage, uh, uh, Dior Sauvage Parfum. It's in that same vein but a lot cheaper, and this one uh, lasts a, a long time. So if you're ever in Brooks Brothers Outlet, or Brooks Brothers The Store, or if you're in Marshalls or TJ Maxx and you see Brooks Brothers uh, New York Gentleman, definitely worth the cop. Nice purple and gold bottle, and it's the shit, this stuff lasts all day, so it's definitely worth, worth picking up at the number four spot, Brooks Brothers New York, from House of Brooks Brothers. Number three, uh, you know, this is another one. Uh, I like to wear this in rainy weather. This is from the house of Nazis Juan Vegas. This is, uh, for him, Blue Noir. So, this is a lot like uh, Terry Mez, in my opinion, but better. Uh, it's a little, it's a little um, thicker, I'd say. A little more powdery than uh, TDH. Uh, you know, TDH, in my opinion, is okay. I have it. Um, I've been wearing it for, like, two years, and I still don't really... It's okay, you know? But uh, I like this one better. Nice, nice, Rodriguez, Rodriguez, uh, you know, Blue, Blue Noir for him. Great scent. Um, it's just great. I mean, I wear it a lot on rainy days. It, and just, just to compare it, I would say it's a powdery tater, tater mess with um, better longevity. About the same projection. So if you see this hanging around, I mean, this, this is at the discounters too sometimes. It makes a rare appearance. I see it every now and then. But definitely worth a pickup. That is for him, Blue, Blue Noir. The house of Nazis over Vegas. And the number two spot. Um, this is this is Solo Lo Webe. I have I have a review on my channel, uh, a few videos back that talks about this. Uh, you know, this is from the Spanish house of, of Lo Webe, Solo. Um, this is very it's very great, it's very good scent. I mean I love citrus scents. And a problem with citrus scents is you really can't wear them year round on cold weather. This is one of those cold weather citrus scents. Um, you know, it's, um, it's citrusy, it's spicy. It has the the, um, the papaya. That's it. it not, not papaya. Guava. Guava. It's a guava note in here that um, to me really smells more like a cross between orange and guava, like a citrus citrusy guava. That's in here. It's spicy. Uh, it's a good year-rounder. Uh, you know, I've been wearing it in fall, and uh, yeah, I love this anyway. So, um, I, you know, for that reason, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. It's right in the middle, just like fall usually is. So, at the number two spot, Solo Lo Uh This is getting harder to find now. This is a tester. As you can see, it says Probador on it. And you want to know, know more about it, I do have a review on uh, the Fragrance Friends channel here. Uh, maybe like two videos back, so check it out. How Solo Lo Solo. Number two. And my number one spot, um, I think this is my number one spot last year also, and you know, this is just my fall on the bottle fragrance, you know it, from the House of Burberry, Burberry London. It has a nice little tartan uh, Burberry uh, little jacket on, <laughs> you could say. Uh, you know, this is like Thanksgiving fall on the bottle. Uh, it's definitely my holiday scent, you know, uh, after, after, uh, um, you know, after fall officially hits, I, I start wearing this. Uh, so, you know, especially after Halloween, Halloween's over now, I'm going to probably be wearing this at least once a week. So this is, I think I wore this like 
Friday, something like that. Uh, this past Friday, so uh, Burberry London, uh, you know, basically fall on the bottle. Even has a little fall colors.